The Mariners are on their way again. Bazanic! Bazanic turns to those Mariners fans. It's back to 2-2. Two -two. Ollie, you're a coach through and through and a vocal boy. What does it mean to you to be playing in your 100th game for the Mariners? Yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been a long journey to get here to to 100 games. You know, I've been been in the club before and then come back again. And uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a very special moment for me. Um, you know, 100 games for the club and to you know to be my hometown club and to have my family here will be will be a great night and a great experience. Yeah, no doubt your family will be there and your your, your mum and dad. Yeah, especially your dad has supported you all the way through your career. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, all of them. Yeah, will definitely be there. Yeah, obviously my dad. Has uh, been a major, major support and role throughout my early, early career, especially, um, and has you know guided me through through those early years to to where I am today. Your first game, I think, the Mariners was 2010. Do you remember it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was uh, obviously a long time ago, um, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, some some great memories from early back in the days, and uh, I learned a lot from from uh, joining the team so early. You went back, you went back overseas, and you know, had a decent career overseas, and what? brought you back to the Mariners this time? Uh, you know, I think being uh, my hometown club, uh, my community, my family um, has been a major uh, uh, reason for me coming back to the club. Uh, I love playing, you know, playing at home in, in front of our fans and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's special like, like the nights we had the other day, um, winning, winning, uh, winning games uh, in front of our home fans. You've seen a lot of the, the A-League in a couple of different stints. What's different about it? Yeah, yeah, the last couple of seasons that, that you've noticed. Yeah, I can really see the uh, the league improving uh, year on year out. Um, you know, when you go away for a few years and then come back, you can see um, that it has improved and uh, the teams are you know really going for it every single year. So it's uh, it's really good to see the standard keeps uh, keeps rising um, and uh, creating new opportunities for for young talent to come through. The Mariners uh, bounced back last season after you know, five or six disastrous seasons, pretty low ebb. Um, what what did it mean to make make the finals again? Yeah, I think you know it was it was a really special season last year where, um, you know, no one really thought that we would be so successful, especially early on. Uh, we knew as as players and as um, as as a club what we wanted to achieve, and and we had those goals in mind. Um, but I don't think anyone really saw it from outside, and and still didn't believe it. Uh, all the way through so you know for us to prove um, that we are a very strong team uh, you know a club that will strive to, to reach the top um, I think that's uh, important for us. We're going to bring a lot of young players through uh, I think we had seven or eight players from the mm -hmm. academy in the, in, in the side last week you know what do you think of the junior setup here and the, the young kids coming through are you excited? Yeah, yeah, no, there's um, some very, very good young talent coming through. I think, uh, you know, having Monty and Serge, who uh, developed most of these players, um, you know, you, can, you could even see from last season, some of the young ones coming through were, were from the academy. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's good to have them involved in this, in this first team setup now because they've worked with those players for, for so, so long and uh, have developed them. So, you know, it's great to see that that, um, that is, you know, trickling through now to the first team and they're, they're adding to the, to the first team strength. As a senior player and the captain, someone with so much experience here and overseas, how much of an input are you having in, you know, in, into helping these young guys? Yeah, look, um, you know, all the senior players in, in our team are, you know, trying to help the help the young players to develop and to grow, and and uh, you know, I think we need to need to show that leadership there as well, and, and to help them uh, flourish into the to the best players they can be. Um, as as one, it helps them, but also it, it helps our team to to succeed and to to be at our very best. On a personal level, you had a fantastic first season back with the club last season. Um, this season you started off just as well. Are you happy with the way things are going for you on the, on the field? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm very happy with how things are going for myself. Um, number one for me is, is for us to win as a team. Um, so I'll be uh, a lot happier if we keep winning.